Hi everyone, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel Nest Artfully. Here I talk about everything home decor, DIY, styling and plant care. I would first like to start off by wishing everyone a very happy new year. So hope this year brings only good health and good things to you. Now for this video, it's a special video to me because I have been wanting to do this for a very long time and I've been watching the news and waiting for this to happen for a very long time. Unfortunately, when IKEA finally opened in Bangalore, I wasn't here. We were in Goa and I could not visit the store at that time. So now that we are back in Bangalore, I finally have my chance here to visit IKEA. Now this is a store that I have only previously visited in Singapore, nowhere else. And this happens to so be my first trip uh, to an IKEA store within India. And of course the first trip to the Bangalore outlet as well. So let's see what I find there and I think I'm going to have an exciting time. Let's go. Right at the onset, we noticed IKEA wasn't as empty as we expected to be on a weekday with, of course, the holiday season and the sale going on. But we also noticed some great products at great prices like these clear jars that were available in different sizes and at pretty good prices. What I liked about them are that they can be used for storing a variety of items and of course I also like the fact that they had plastic containers that were more budget friendly. When it comes to cushions, they had great options in terms of cushion covers especially for the larger sized cushions and also some of them being on sale were at very attractive prices like some of these pieces were available at just Rs 99. In terms of bedding, they had offers going on on bedding sets, bed sheets, flat sheets and even duvet cover sets. We mostly skipped over the large furniture section but I did see a few pieces that I really liked. Especially our old favourites, the Gladom table and uh, such unique pieces like these um, shoe holders that take up very little space and are super convenient to use. When it came to dinnerware and crockery, I wasn't very happy with the selection available so didn't pick up anything but I was quite impressed that they had super budget friendly options in terms of table placemats and even some serving trays. When it comes to wall decor, they had pretty good frames, box frames and uh, other types of frames that can help with creating gallery walls. So this is something that you can definitely look into and add other products such as mirrors and wall clocks into the mix. They also have a great selection of vases to choose from and I've always loved their products in this category. In terms of lighting, I was definitely on the lookout at the product variety, design and prices because I was planning to buy a few which we have done and I will be showcasing them in respective styling videos around our Bangalore home. So I'm back from a very exciting trip to IKEA Bangalore and it did not disappoint. I saw a lot of familiar products that I've used in the past but I don't own anymore so I've purchased some of those products and then a lot of new products uh, across categories both functional and decor. Let me take you guys through it. I've split this category wise so that it's easy to relate to and use the information. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to specifically focus on the products I've purchased starting from Rs. 69 going on up to Rs. 500. The first category I'm going to be talking about is storage and organization. For this, I've purchased three products from IKEA. 
Now these are going to help me organize various products across the home. The first product I'm going to be talking about is this white crate with lid and casters or wheels at the base. This is primarily purchased for the kitchen area because I do have modular setup cabinets there. However, one cabinet which happens to be a corner cabinet has a lot of space which I will not be able to utilize without having something that I can easily push in and pull out. And in this space, I want to organize all my kitchen supplies, unopened food products and so on. And this is going to help me do just that. This product can be purchased as a set that is with the lid or separately without the lid. Together, the product costs me rupees 349. The next storage product I've purchased are these cute orange boxes. Now in terms of size, they are perfect to hold a variety of items across the house. You can use them to store art and DIY supplies. You can use them to store hardware supplies. You can even store it to keep a lot of your wires and cables that go unused on a day-to-day -day basis. And in the kids room, they can hold things like Lego and other toys. So it's a very versatile product and I plan to use it across the home. This again is a product that you can purchase just the base or the base with the lid. Together, I paid Rs. 149 for it. The next product I purchased is for my son's room. So it matches the aesthetics. It looks very cute. These are cloth and cardboard based storage units. They can be folded and to use them, you open them up and use the zip at the base. Now it can be used to store soft toys or light plastic toys, but you could also use it to organize your child's wardrobe by storing clothes in it, especially clothes like winter wear, which you won't be using for the rest of the year. Moving on to the next category, kitchen products. I've purchased quite a few functional products to help me with my life in the kitchen. Now, in terms of our modular cabinet, the drawer that holds all our cutlery didn't come with any dividers. So I needed a cutlery tray to separate all my spoons, forks and so on. And for this, I got two plastic trays from IKEA. They also have wooden options, but they happen to be far more expensive. So I have purchased these two. Now there is one which is a narrow thin tray and the other one happens to be a broad tray. Unfortunately, they both don't fit together in my drawer. So I'll have to use them separately. I've purchased this for rupees 209 and this for rupees 139. For the second product in the kitchen category, I like to avoid plastic bottles to store water. I prefer metal or glass. So when I came across this at IKEA, I decided to purchase one. This is Rs. 149. There was also another design in red which was even cheaper at just Rs. 99. So it's a great buy. The next product I purchased is this three-piece kitchen utensil set. Now I already own one of these. Very useful, especially while dealing with a lot of non-stick cookware. They do no damage to such utensils and so I find them very convenient to use and of course put them in the dishwasher as well. So I got myself another set. The next product I purchased is a fun little one for my son. This is a synthetic plastic tray that I can use to make ice cubes or even chocolates and so on. But it comes in these really cute shapes of small whales and ships. So he's going to have fun with this. And it just cost me rupees 99. This next product I have purchased is to make our life around the oven easier since we plan to do a lot more baking. We have the regular mitt of course, but we wanted something a little more heat resistant. And so we have purchased this silicon based uh, oven glove. Now it looks very sturdy and easy to use and I have paid rupees 229 for this. The next product I have purchased is once again super functional. It is this roll of drawer mat that you can use as a liner for all your cabinets and drawers. It is waterproof as well as a non-slip. So it also comes in a very handy measurement of about 150 centimeter by 50 centimeter. So the width is very good to work with and the length I can cut depending on my requirement. I have paid Rs 199 for this product. The last product out of the kitchen category that I've purchased is again a highly functional product. It is this set of ceiling clips. Now this packet comes with 30 ceiling clips in two different sizes, short ones and long ones. And I have paid just Rs 99 for this. It's extremely useful because a lot of times we buy food products that we don't consume entirely like chips and so on. And it's very difficult to store all of these in separate containers. So a ceiling clip is extremely useful. I can just seal it, put it in the refrigerator or put it in a bigger storage box with other products. 
The next category that I'm going to be talking about is the hygiene category and I guess several useful products in this category. So the first one that I'm sharing with you guys is this really simple but nice looking soap dispenser. This can hold up to 200 ml of soap and I find it very useful. It's got a glass body and a plastic cap and nozzle. I've used this in our Singapore home and uh, I find it very handy to keep in the bathroom and in the kitchen and so on. So this is a product that is especially interesting because it's just Rs. 69 and uh, you can really use it very well for a very long time. With us wearing a lot more winter clothing and of course our jute carpet, I have started to notice a lot more lint in the house here in Bangalore. And of course as uh, previous pet owners, we also know that having pets at home can have that effect with lint all across your couch and your clothing. So when I saw this lint roller at IKEA for just Rs 99, I decided to pick it up. I haven't used their product before, but I'm sure it'll be very useful. The last product in the hygiene category I'd like to share with you guys is simply because of how budget friendly it is. It is this set of toilet brush with holder. Now, if you purchase them locally at several shops, uh, they cost around 200, 300 rupees, but at IKEA, I got this for just rupees 89. The last set of products that I've purchased from IKEA come under the lighting and home decor category. Let's get started. The first product that I've purchased is super useful, especially if you're someone that loves to have beautiful lights around the house. This is a white cord set that you can use with any lamp that you may already have or you have liked at a local shop or you want to DIY, you can create your pendant lamp with this cord set because it gives a very seamless look. It merges with the ceiling and the wall color and gives a very classy look. I've paid rupees 400 for this cord set. In keeping with what we just spoke about, the next product I've purchased is this lamp set. It also comes with the cord set. So this is a very nice lamp shade in a very nice shape. It is white in color and it can be used about the dining table or it can be used about a study table or in the kitchen. We plan to use it in the kitchen. So this comes with the cord set. The price includes both the shade as well as the cord set and I paid Rs 579 for it. This is the same cord set that we spoke of earlier. So moving on with the home decor category, I'd like to get started by talking about cushion inserts. So I've purchased two of these. These are in a larger size of 50 by 50 centimeter, which I do not have at home already. I've purchased this for our sofa. Now a lot of times people ask me in the comments below my video as to where I suggest they can buy cushion inserts, but I find it something to be a very uh, personal choice and of course something that you have to really touch and feel before you decide it's ideal for you how firm how soft you want your cushions in my case I don't like them very hard so the cushions that I got from Urban Ladder along with the couch they have been overstuffed and are extremely hard whereas this one in IKEA I found it soft and comfortable so I decided to purchase it also because I didn't have this size this cost me per piece rupees 250 so this next product was an obvious purchase because I previously haven't owned a 50 by 50 centimeter cushion so I don't have covers for it and when I saw that these cushion covers were available at just rupees 99 per piece I thought it's a good buy so I took it up and of course there's uh, the color scheme it's just plain solid very nice yellow and it goes well with our other cushion covers and what we have planned for our living room. These two products you may have seen in my Singapore videos. I previously owned them but had to let them go but I couldn't resist buying them again because they're so versatile. These vases. Now they are so well priced. One is 99, the other is 199 but both are amazing to use. You can use them with just one single stalk of flour like a rose or you can go for a bunch arrangement in this fluted vase like I've done in my flower arrangement video. Now moving on to the wall decoration category, I found some interesting products at IKEA such as these wall plates. Now these are in metal and they have some terms that you might relate to specifically. This one says book lover and it just goes on to give a definition of what a book lover is. And this one says family and goes on to give the definition of what family is. I liked it so I decided to use it either in the living room or maybe one of this in my son's bedroom. So I purchased this at Rs 129 each. Continuing on wall decoration, I found these 
posters uh, they were actually i found them in the style rooms where they were already within a frame this is the color combination of red and teal and since we are using a lot of teal in our current living room setup i thought it will go really well with the gallery wall i have planned for there now this poster comes as a set of two so this is one print and this is the other print the other print is just all right i'm not in love with it but i really like this one so i've got it this cost me rupees 99 so i have also purchased some exciting furniture and lighting products from ikea but i'll be showing that in specific styling makeover videos that we have planned for our new home here in bangalore so do stay tuned for that but for all the products i have shown in this video i'll be providing the links in the description box below so that it's easy for you guys to find them on the ikea website so if you live in a place where you can physically check out the store or make an online purchase you can go ahead and do that For those who don't have access to IKEA stores, I have tried to find links of similar or the same product available via Amazon. So if you need it, you can check that out as well. I do hope this video was of some use to you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care and have a great day.